didn't know that it was a final inspection. And he's going to make you do what? Open elbow, every what? LDF there, you see the type of wire that you use. Okay. Very, very important. Okay. Finally here, we actually have to put things actually printed here so you can see how do you do a final review of formal text system. Okay. What type of information that you have to supply for a formal text system of a small scale versus the one of a large scale? Do you have a question? Any of you? Good. So this is the this is important. And what happens, but don't forget, it's the new industry, guys. A lot of us inspectors up there, we're not experts on those things. Now all of a sudden you get a design for portable day system, you have to look it up and, and try to do what? Figure out what it is. Okay, figure out what it is. Most of the designs for portable day system is done by who now? How about you guys, Solar? Some engineers, sometimes they do who? The manufacturers do it for you, right? And they give you the information, says take it to the inspector. Okay, take it to the inspector. Uh, so you can see here, so this is, this, we're gonna spend quite a bit of time in here. As a matter of fact, we might pay, spend a little bit more time than, we, than, than just that particular class itself, all right? The next class we're gonna talk about some of the mechanical integration, what I call. This is the part that we have to do what? How do you, some of the mounting considerations. Some of the what? Wind loading consideration. What type of roof do you have? How are you going to mount the roof? Okay. Is it a flat roof? Cathedral type? Is it a house? Is it commercial? So forth. How are you going to mount this thing? You don't want the solar panels at the wire to start what? Flying off somebody's roof. Okay. Because those things happen. You need to know something about you drill through the roof. The early types of what? Of portable tech system is what happens. You go up there, you stick the solar panels in the roof, you drill the holes up there, and some holes you forgot to cut the cover, somebody else drill a hole. What happens? You damage the roof and you end up <coughs> what? Paying for the roof. So before you do anything in that roof, you have to know something about roof racks. And all the types of what? Related equipment that is available in the market, and how do you handle about those things? The companies that just do what? Tracking systems, specifically for mounting here, uh, or a mounting types. You may have tracking systems. So you're actually moving the, the modules for tracking the sun. So there's a lot of input. Some of the people just specialize in what? In mounting photovoltaic systems that they call what? The genius electrician to do actually do what? The wiring for that. Okay? So in some of these cases, you may have to do what? Consult what? A roofer. We have any roofers here? General contractor? No? So this is probably next class we're gonna talk what? Utility interconnection required. What is public service required? JCP net, friendly electric, stuff like that. What are some of their most of them requirements, believe it or not, they're pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. But again, each one of them may have some specific requirement for that. Uh, some of the intertie agreement policies, all three considerations. Uh, what happens if you put what? Batteries, how do you size the size of batteries that you have? So there's quite a bit to that. And again, you put a system, you tie it up to the grid. You tie it up to the grid, now you have to you do what? Show that that system is what? Is what? Can you see it or you cannot see it? All you can see, well, at least you can hear. Right. This is uh, the next thing we're gonna do. So we only have to watch class number eight. Class number nine, which is, now we're gonna do what? Start the system, once we have the system up, how do we start the system? How do we commission the system, okay? How do we make sure that that's what? Works. As a matter of fact, if you look at in your CD-ROM, I think it has a whole uh, a video, I believe so, that actually goes from the beginning to the end of how you put the system together. And one of the, the, the last thing is what? You put the system together, who's responsible to, to start the system and show the customer that it works? Who's responsible to obtain the data and give that to the utility company to make sure that the system meets its performance specification? Who's that? Your contract. I don't know what kind of of business you're gonna get involved with, whether you're just gonna do the electrical work and then you work for some solar 
an installer or solar company whatsoever, but at some point in time, this system that you're gonna get paid for it is gonna do what? It has to start working. Now, you have to turn it on, check how it works, you have any problems. You have any problems. Troubleshoot. How are you gonna troubleshoot a system, okay? When and how? What's the, main, the, the biggest thing that breaks on those systems? So you saw the guy, what is it? I don't know, the panels? I don't know, this guy says his panels never break. Not the guy next to him, I don't wanna say anything else. But what's the major, the, the initial major problem in the in photovoltaic system? The batteries, most of the guys didn't install. Well, one of you up here would gonna give me the answer. Sunlight. What is it? Sunlight. Sunlight, so what does the sunlight do? Too much sun? Not enough. Not enough? Some of you saw the guy, you can give me the answer. What is the, the number one problem initial that you had in this system? Inverter. 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 Inverter was a problem, right? Inverter was a, was a problem. What is the system? Oh. Anyway, again, the key thing is not. The, the key thing is to be able to do what? Be able to troubleshoot the system, find out what the problem is, and fix it. Because what's going to happen? Somebody's going to call you, and he's going to say, my system is not working. And remember, guys, some of you electrical contractors, you do an electrical service, you tell inspection, you get a red sticker by somebody, it's a service, you go up there the next day, you spend an hour or so, you fix it, right? Panel, you, you know, you've been putting enough uh, straps up there, you, you have a problem, then you use the wrong circuit breaker because that's what you have left in your, in your truck at that time. You put a solar panel up there, it's what? It's expensive. If it doesn't work, a lot of people get mad. Understand? So there's not much room for what? For failure, for error. Because only because of the fact that the systems are what? They're expensive. So this is an important thing. Maintenance. You know, sometimes I have guys in the class who says, the hell is a photovoltaic system? The hell about installing, the hell about designing and everything. All I need is what? The service contract so I can send a wiki guy for 10 bucks an hour to go clean them. Because what happens when the system becomes dirty? What happens to the panels when they become dirty? Somebody has to clean it. How often? Maybe it's a big business into the cleaning business. And if that's in, in a roof that is what? Slender like this, what happens? You need a special special to do a lot to clean those. How often? So there's a lot into actually maintenance. And there's a business associated to that. Alright? And then finally, so when you get to this point, when you have to know, you better study the book from the beginning to the end. Because if you haven't learned it by now, what happens? You're gonna be in big trouble in the middle of the night when you get some phone call from somebody. All right? And then by this time, I don't think most of you would show up in class. Because you wouldn't have them. <laughs> all right? Because by that time, you know, your head is gonna be spinning, all right? So yeah, we're gonna do that. So at that time, we're gonna do some of the economic analysis. I know some of you wish you had to do that today. So this is where you know exactly what kind of rebates and everything is available. But we need you the last day of the class. So anyway, we're gonna do some of the federal and local incentives because those things, they change what? Daily. Some of you, that's your job all day long to click up there and see what kind of rebates, how many what? Dollars per part and so forth. We do some of the cost analysis associated with the system. We're gonna see what's on the rebates. Perhaps by that time, we'll have the, the latest or the greatest information. How are we gonna manage you know, solar system, business, solar business? It's mostly business-oriented class. I think maybe we'll have a big new guy explain that to you. How do you convince the customer to install one of, one of those systems? How do you go to somebody's house and say, you know something, give me $100,000 for the system for you. Okay, what do you do? Um, and whatever else you want to talk about. And I'm sure by that time, if you just about had it with photovoltaics, you might come up here. So I wish when I come back for the 10th class in here, this class would be filled as it is now. All right? And uh, hopefully it will be. Any questions so far? This is what happens when you work in days and you have food and you sit down. <laughs> All right? This is what happens. Gotta do something about it. Any questions on that? All right, now, what I'm gonna do in the, in the next, I'm gonna cover now a little bit about renewable energy, okay?
Yes, good. 